welcome, this is Vasco from the Angular University and in this lesson we are going to start our journey exploring services and HTTP, the HTTP service of Angular 2, in detail. Now, you might have noticed that when you are using the Angular 2 HTTP module in the early examples that we presented to you, that whenever you need a result from the server, you need to subscribe to it. What is this subscribe method? We are going to learn observables in this first section of this course and then we are going to use them to build service layers with HTTP. You noticed before that we were calling the server and that we were storing the state in a state variable in the service. This is actually not a good idea, at least not in this form. How should we build Angular 2 service layers then? The answer is simple, by using observables. Now, let's start at the beginning. What is an observable and what is a stream? In our applications, we have streams of values everywhere. Imagine when you drag your mouse around the application. So that series of values of pairs of X and Y coordinates, that's a good example of a stream. So a stream is just a series of values in time. Okay, that's simple enough, but then what is an observable? Well, let's start by saying what an observable is not. An observable is not a stream. Those are two different concepts that it's important to separate from the beginning. Now, instead of focusing on the perfect definition of observable, let's just build one and take a look at it and see what can we make of it. Let's build our first very simple observable and take it from there. For example, when we type in the add lesson input box, the stream of values of the input box in time, that's a good example of a stream. Now, let's write an observable so that we can tap into that stream. Let's, for example, print the values of the stream to the screen. Using the observable API, Let's do observable and then from event. The first argument of from event is the DOM element on which we want to listen for an event. And the key up is the DOM event that we want to listen to. The output of from event is an observable. Let's assign it to a variable, in this case to the keys variable that ends with a dollar. This is a convention to identify variables that correspond to observables. If we try this out, we can see that this doesn't really do anything visible in the program. That's normal, we haven't even tried to print something to the screen. Let's do that using the do operator. So observables come with a lot of built-in operators. This is just one among many. It's used to typically for debugging purposes, so it shouldn't be used for anything other than that, because it produces a side effect. Let's see this in action. If we now type in the input box, we can see that nothing still happens. And this is critical to understand the difference between streams and observables. So the stream exists when we type in the box, there is a series of values in time for the key up event. What happens here is that the observable is really just a definition, a declaration of what we want to do with the stream. So, and we need to activate it. We need to subscribe to the observable. Otherwise, nothing will happen. This is one of the main properties of observables. You need to subscribe to an observable. Other than that, the observable before subscription is simply just a definition of what we want to do with the stream. It's just a, a declaration. It's just a blueprint for a functional processing programming chain that binds an input of a stream to a consumer that is interested in values that are derived from that stream. So if we now type in the input box, we can see that the key that we just pressed is being outputted to the console. We can see here that the variable keys dollar 
is really just a declaration of what we want to do with the stream values. We can pass it around in our program, we can combine it with other such declarations, but this is not the stream itself. It's a way of handling the stream. It's a way of building programs based on the notion of stream. Remember, the notion of observable is essential for being able to use the Angular 2 HTTP module, as well as several other parts of the framework. Let's continue laying down the foundation for understanding observables in the next lesson.